Finished sixth on the year. I think it took a little while for the for for the crowd to come round to the way I used to play. Um, I don't think they took to me instantly. I think eventually, I think it was probably when Ian Wallace came along and we struck up a, a, a reasonable partnership um, that I think they finally got to understand in my type of game, my strengths if you like, and, and not always honing in on what might have necessarily been your weaknesses. Wally just seemed to know where I was going to put the ball and I just seemed to know where Wally was going to be. And it just sort of, it just spiralled from there. And I remember the pitch was always fantastic. The groundsman was always really good and it was one of the best pitches in the league and it, 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 all of the time, even when I played there as a professional and went on to play a lot of games. Um, I always felt Highfield Road surface was always fantastic. Oh, surely was a push in the back. Well, that surely had to be a push in the back by Ferguson, but Hutchison's on his way. Push back there, Powell turned into the net, goal given. Barry Powell has put to commentary ahead. Ferguson again winning it in the air. Oh, a great chop and a turn there by Wallace and number two. A mistake really by Phillips. But again, the unselfish Ferguson getting up well, nodding it down. And what a tremendous shot on the turn there by young Ian Wallace. Got a feeling that uh, John Phillips will be annoyed for not quite grabbing that one. Back of the net, covering each other well. Hutchison inside to McDonald. Powell. Powell, a very busy worker. Uh, that's ready made for Ferguson, and it's a goal by Wallace. And that's the way to get them as the ball came spreading across. The big number nine, Ferguson, saw his chance, went up, headed it downwards, and that's super snapping up of chances. The number eight, Ian Wallace was there with the Newcastle defence in disarray to slot the ball home for his seventh goal of the season. Coop lobbing it forward and there's Ferguson number nine. He's got it and he's missed it. Donald coming up to take the throw for Coventry. It's David Craig. No, Hutchison taking over. Hutchison. And a beautiful one by Wallace. And well, you can see why this lad is the top goal scorer in the first division. Wallace again, and has he got it? He has, yes. And again, that defence caught napping by this nippy customer, Wallace. A long kick all the way from Blythe. The goal to our right, everybody's head, and Wallace, the man who runs around the defence and just lobs the ball into the net. Bill over. Green for Coventry. Terry Yarrows trying to repeat it to him, and he's got the pace to get there ahead of Calderwood. Yes, first goal of the game, Ferguson. What a sensational start! One nothing, Ferguson. Well, that must have been inside 30 seconds. Laying it in to Terry Yara. Yara Terry Yara feeding it on down the line. Green outstripping Calder with a low cross. And Ferguson nicks it in on the near post. A Yara. Donald curling it for Wallace. 
Dan McDonald. For the cross, Ferguson trying to get far post. Hutchison! Ferguson! He didn't know he did it! Unbelievable! Mick Ferguson scores his second goal of the game. And he really didn't know it had happened. 35 minutes gone. 2-0, Ferguson's got them both. Well, it really was quite remarkable. The ball knocked across to the far post. Everybody stopped for a moment. Hutchison tried a snapshot. Ferguson with his back to the ball. Somebody realised it was coming down behind him. Turned round, toe poked it in. Thought he might have been offside. It wasn't. It's 2-0. A certain amount of aggro building up out on the park now. Matching that out on the terraces. Is the free kick. Wallace didn't get there. And stabbed over the bar by McDonald. That's Wallace and, and Howard. And Wallace is dragged away by referee Alf Gray. And a yellow card for Wallace. The incident happening as the ball comes curling across. One or two squaring up to each other. Howard went down. Wallace looked as though he might have trodden on the Birmingham City player. Well, uh, Pat Howard really is in a lot of trouble there. Need Hutchison over here to uh, knock one of the long ones in. Beck. Placed by Towers. Ferguson. Yes! That's his hat trick. That's his third hat trick of the season. Manchester City here, Wolves away, and now another hat trick for Mick Ferguson. And that really was so, so simple. Beautifully flighted ball across the box, and Ferguson up just to give it just a little nick in inside the far post.